the seal goes ow, ow, ow. Seals are attractive creatures which live all over the world, from the polar ice caps to tropical beaches in Hawaii and almost everywhere in between. Seals are mammals and take care of their young. They are skilled hunters of fish and other marine prey. Seals have flippers and can dive for up to an hour to depths of 200 to 500 meters. Seals belong to a group of animals called pinnipeds, of which there are 33 species worldwide. There are two species which reside in the UK, the grey and common seal. At St Andrews, acoustic research is being undertaken with Laurel. She is a 21-year-old common seal born off the west coast of Scotland. She is a shy and inquisitive soul. Meet Dr Vincent Yannick, an expert on marine mammal communication. Now, the vocal learning that we look at um, and that I'm most interested in is what we call vocal production learning, which really is this kind of listening to your environment, listen what's out there, and then start to either copy that sound or to produce something that's very different. Seals are interesting because seals um, kind of don't strike you as the obvious species with their social structure. Mm -hmm. They have these, um, you know, they don't have a very complex fish and fusion stru structure. They do obviously occur in groups, but you don't have those close bonds necessarily. Mm -hmm. But what you do find in seals is they do sing. And all of the fossil seals produce song, and so there might be a great similarity there between the big whales and bird song. Seals in the wild make all different noises described in all sorts of different ways, like moos and hisses, snorts, grunts, groans. Now what we're working with Laurel is just the two sounds that she specifically makes. So she makes growls, which are broadband and sound kind of like a raspberry sound. And then she also makes moans, which are a bit more tonal. If you produce a sound underwater and you're an air breather and you use your larynx and you somehow put air past it, then you lose an awful lot of energy because most of the energy is reflected off the water-air interface. So somehow the animals have to produce vibration in water and that's a real challenge. Now, usually the way that's achieved is through some kind of tissue vibration because tissue has a very similar density to water and so you don't have the problems of losing energy as the sound travels from one medium to the other. In seals, actually very few people have looked at this because they can produce sound underwater and in the air very well. So Laurel's next steps as she progresses on, is instead of just matching the broad types of calls like growls and moans, we're going to play her entirely new sounds and she's going to try and match them, things that she's never could have heard before. What we're trying to do at the moment here in, in my group is to kind of look at, uh, to a certain extent, how it changes with age. So we're starting out with relatively young animals, but at the same time also look at adults to first of all find out whether there is actually a change in learning ability from the young animal perhaps learning a song and from an adult animal that has a crystallized song. So the best part about working with any animal in any kind of training program is that aha moment when they finally get what you're trying to say to them after months and months of work. Finally they understand it and the light bulb just clicks on. What does the seal say? Pop, 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 pop.